Hi, I'm Peter Brock from BRE. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our speaker series and some of the things that we present and talk about. One of the main things I'm really interested about is the history of American road racing and how it came about and what the origins were, especially when you look at what happened in the 1930s. We almost had American Grand Prix racing here. In fact, we did have some major races that were won by the Mercedes Silver Arrow team, and it probably could have grown had we not had World War II. A lot of people aren't aware of what we had here on the West Coast in the 1920s. We had some great road racing in Santa Monica and uh, Corona and up in Oakland and great cross-country road races. Uh, public sentiment cut off road racing uh, because of the dangers. And they had some very major accidents in Europe, which changed a very conservative American group on racing. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, why racing changed in America and uh, what came about, especially after World War II with the advent of the new era, when we brought over American servicemen returning, brought back a lot of little road racing cars and people found that automobiles were fun to drive. And that's really the thing that changed American racing. It grew from there in the 1950s into the 1960s, the USR series. Of course, the Can-Am and the Trans-Am, which was the high point really of American road racing. It's since deteriorated a bit. So those are a lot of the things I'd like to tell you about in our series on American road racing.